Hi. Um, in this clip, uh, I want to revisit some things I glossed over in the uh, first big assumption slide of this section, and it's the historical odds for change types. So if there's a technology shift, basically people say we're not going to sh you know, ship stuff back and forth across the ocean in clipper ships. We're going to do it in steam ships. Basically, none of the clipper ship builders were able to successfully transform themselves into steamship manufacturers. Um, so when you have a technology shift, it's, it's asking for a, a transformational change for which the odds are very steep. And we could say, well, we see it coming. Let's try to do it. Um, uh, but it's, it's formidable. A lot of times people say, let's set up a whole new business and start making steamships while we keep doing clipper ships and basically, you know, kind of wind that, harvest that down while we build this up. You don't try to get the carpenters to become welders at the same time. They just don't want to do it. Um, certainly in all things digital, we've seen VHS uh, tapes and blockbuster kind of uh, ecosystem people take a big dive because DVDs came along and now DVDs are diving because streaming is coming along. And um, we've seen in phones where Motorola had a brick that was successful in the 80s, but then Nokia came up with a little sort of clamshell kind of idea and dominated the 90s. And now the iPhone smartphones have taken over and these guys are struggling mightily. Um, Motorola is bought, out, bought actually by Google. Um, just for their patents, uh, not their phone capability. Um, if the change underway or possibly is a process shift, so that would mean let's change the systems between two businesses in a, in a supply channel, distribution channel, and let's integrate more thoroughly and take out people, paper, uh, and costs and redundancies and uh, mistakes and so forth. Um, so. Uh, let's marry a distributor on an integrated basis. This has already happened in the drug wholesale channel, and hundreds of lo local drug wholesalers became four big nationals. It happened in the hospital supply channel in the late 90s when HMOs caused huge consolidation of hospital hospitals, and they in turn consolidated their purchasing. Uh, so now they're four big national footprint hospital supply distributors. We've seen large manufacturers with multiple manufacturing plants put in SAP. Then they have central spend management capability, and they've said, let's go with a total integrated sole supply thing for buying MRO items. And lots of industrial supply distributors lost their single biggest local plant because they couldn't take care of a national footprint, nor did they really get the whole integrated supply approach to doing business. Um, so remember, you know, three to four percent of all uh, companies are perpetual innovators. Um, and maybe that's a little bit, if you look at human nature, uh, this is sort of a random stat, and I don't know that it necessarily correlates, but uh, I was interested to find out that five percent of alcoholics just one day quit and changed successfully and, and, and never went back. So there seems to be something about get a vision, have the will, and decide you're going to sort of reweave your whole world so that you can you can do something differently. But again, the question is, how are we going to move from being in probably statistically in the bottom 95% we're fine-tuning the past uh, to the 5% who are co-creating and inventing the future? Thank you.